Hey guys, it's Palm Primus here, and today I'm going to play Land of Chaos Online, also known as Loco Evolution. Uh, it's the same people that made S4 League, which um, I actually played the game for a while and actually have videos on my channel. But the thing is, I stopped playing that game because um, there was too many hackers, way too many fucking hackers. Every match I went into, there was hackers everywhere. And then on top of that, people were restricting weapons for like, you know, the beginning rifle and the beginning uh, knife and everything. And I'm like, what the hell, you know, th those are the weapons I'm using right now because, you know, you have to accumulate points and everything. And it's like as stupid as hell. So I got frustrated with that game and I deleted the game from my hard drive and everything. I'm not even going to play it no more. But when I went to their website, um, what was it called? A player dot, the, dot net or whatever. Um, I saw this game and also saw a lot of reviews on it. So I figured, you know, why not try it out? See if it's uh, worth replacing S4 League. And I played one game so far and it's pretty good actually it's not that bad it's it's something you have to get used to um i like it because it's you know it's not like other rpg games where you have to do missions and stuff like that although this game does have missions but the thing is it's more of like you get in there and you start playing right away and uh, apparently they compare this game to league of legends i never played league of legends um they also compare it to dot a uh d-o-t-a i don't know if that's an acronym or an actual game or the style of gameplay but here it's that type of gameplay uh, but the thing is, the, the exception is that this is more like a, a third-person hack-and-slash um, game, which I like because I like fast-paced games. I don't like these RPG games like World of Warcraft and shit like that, in which you just, you know, you're just constantly pressing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and you're just standing there like an idiot, and you have to grind and grind to do missions. At least with this, you get, in the, and you get into the action right away. So, it's free to play. Uh, so if you guys want to download it, you can always just visit their website um, or just put Loco Evolution on Google or something. You can find the game really easily in their website and stuff. Um, these are the beginning characters you get. You get this guy here. He's Octavian. Uh, he's like a melee tanker. He has a sword. Uh, this chick here, I don't know who she is. Range damage dealer, I guess. Um, kind of like your, your DPS slash long range person, like a scout. Uh, this is your other tanker. Um, a support, I guess, probably maybe even a healer. Um, another DPS, long range as well. Um, another, well, he's apparently he's not a tank. Well, he, he can be considered a tank because he has a high HP and everything. I guess he's well rounded in with those. And then this dude over here, who's kind of well rounded in everything. Um, Millie, he's also a DPS, I guess. And then these are these other characters you can get, but the thing is, unfortunately, you have to buy cards if you would for these characters and everything to just use them and I think you get that by accumulating um, game points or something like that since I haven't really played any you know a lot of matches or anything I don't have any points I actually deleted my other character because I actually wanted to start over because I didn't know how to play the game very well and I was kind of messing up a lot um, so these are some characters I might choose what the fuck this guy's wearing a speedo oh shit that's disgusting uh, but yeah, I'll probably get some of these characters later on. There's Donkey Kong, if you see here. There's fucking Gimli from Lord of the Rings. Um, I don't know who the fuck this girl is. Plus, some like Asian chick. Uh, fucking Cloud Strife. Uh, some other chick here. Fucking Krillin on steroids. I don't know, whatever. So, with no further ado, I'm going to start this game. I actually been play. I played all the characters. Well, I didn't play all the characters. I played some of the characters and deleted them and stuff like that to try them out. So far, I like this guy just because he looks badass and he's he's kind of like a he's a tank and everything and he has strong hits too. So he's not that bad. So I'm gonna create the hero. Uh, so you have to use a permanent hero card. You get one permanent hero card, but the thing is you can only use it for the beginner um, starter sets really, which are those characters I showed you up to freaking uh, the Lynch King dude over here. Was this Lynch King right here? Right there you go. Bad dude right there. Uh, Nosferatu. Nosferatu. Is that, that, isn't that like a saint or something? Or something. Okay, whatever. I'm not even gonna get to conversation about that. So I'm gonna choose Dragon Boy over here. Killmore, a red dragon warrior, banished from his clan. When Killmore attacked the black dragons, he lost his wings, which tarnished the pride of the clan. During the war, he became bloodthirsty. He's now constantly looking for fights. Oh, okay, great. He's a freaking psychopath. I love it. All right, let's choose this crazy ass. Okay, we gotta use a permanent card. Oh, you successfully created a character. Yay! All right, and then later on, you can actually choose other characters and level them up and stuff so it shows right here your title you have nothing so far my screen name account level basically the level of your character uh, battle record I have one loss which kinda sucks 
Um, as you can see, I already played one match and I kind of, you know, my team was doing bad. I didn't even know what the hell was going on. It was my first time playing this type of game, so I didn't know what the hell you're supposed to do. Uh, days left, permanent. Uh, battle record, kills, character. Okay, this is basically my character. I don't know what the hell this is. User information. Oh, user information is basically my general information. And character information, basically information of my character of this dude, I guess. Alright, so enough dilly dally. Let's enter the town. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. For some reason, when I started loading the town, uh, Fraps just crapped on on me or something. Or the, actually, the whole game just freaking shut down by itself. So okay, the game is lagging a little bit, probably because of Fraps. Um, also, for some reason, I don't know. Even if when I put the graphics at lowest or something. It still lags in the city here. It's probably because of a lot of characters and a lot of information going on. But when I'm actually playing a match or something, it doesn't really affect it in any way. Let's see here. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah, the lag is really a bitch. Let me actually. I can always change it. See, I have to lower everything the lowest. So for now, I'm going to put everything low just so this game can run a little bit better. Okay, there we go. I uh, hope there wasn't no little freeze there. Alright, the graphics are at the lowest, man. This game still lags on me. It's probably just because of the internet connection or something. It's still lagging a little bit. Whatever, I'll fix it during in-game play. Um, let me see here. So we got emoticons, we got let me see, we got Dragon Breath, but I can't do anything. I can't even attack. Uh, let me see here. Let's start a match, shall we? Same thing of Bogus. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Let's start this shit. Average Wayne Town, 73 minutes. Oh, fucking wonderful. Fuck you. I'm not playing this shit. I'll find another match for now. What the hell? Can someone please join me? What's oh, this guy moaning? I got hurt you. Okay, enough of this. Who's this dude? Who's this monkey boy? No, I don't want to talk to the human. I'm talking to the blacksmith over here. Produce items. What can you produce for me? This of trainee. Sell for 500 coins. How much coins do I have? Where's my coinage? I think I have a thousand coins. This weapon, elite low. How do I buy this? Is this, is this is this part of my gear? I don't even know if this is part of my gear. Oh, I have 182 coins. Oh, wonderful! I have shit. Okay. Um. Let me see here. Who's this dude? Item refining. What do you do? Refine me. I don't even know. Oh, shit. I think I have to read a manual or something because I do not understand what the hell is going on in here. Alright, the wait time is literally like 73 minutes. That's just bullshit in my opinion. I think I, I've, I think I can just talk to somebody and they'll probably let me join. Token exchange. What is this? Who are you? What would you like to exchange? My soul! Uh, okay, nothing. I can't do shit. I have no money. I have nothing. I don't know what the fuck am I supposed to do. Let's head to these... Let's go to the question mark over here. Where everybody is at. That was a clusterfuck. Hey, what's up, dude? What's his manager? No, him. I talk to the manager. Blessing of breeze, strength of storm. For the victory. Okay, I guess it's like a, a training session thing going on. Game started. Welcome to Loco. I am your trainer, and I will teach you everything. Okay, I'll go a little bit faster to know from the first step onward. Okay, first of all, you need to learn how to move your heroes. Okay. 
You can use these keys to move. Okay, wonderful. You can also change the direction you are facing by moving the mouse. Okay, now show me what you have learned. Move by yourself. Go, move to the target with, within 99 seconds. Oh no, no! What are you doing? Crap, I didn't even know what the hell. Okay, move on the highlighted area on the mini map. The upper right hand corner, you can zoom and control your mouse wheel. Oh yeah, it's zooming in. Move to the thing. Oh wait, I can speed boost. Where's the speed boost? Oh, bitch! Well done! Let's learn about combat. You will learn all about combat now. Use your mouse to control your character's combat. Move close target and left click mouse to attack. Alright, simple enough. Perform attack combinations by re repeatedly clicking or holding the left mouse button. Let's learn how to select an enemy. You can select an enemy. Uh, uh, <clears throat> you can automatically target an enemy by approaching the point with your mouse. The enemy in the red area is your selected. Remain locked, <clears throat> locked onto your target by holding down the right mouse button. Change target by pressing the tab key while holding the right mouse button. Can't ch I can't change the settings right now. Well, the graphics are gonna look shitty for now. This is training anyway. Okay, change target by pressing the tab key while holding down the right button. As you can see, you can switch targets, this is very useful in large battles. Next you learn how to select your party hero. Press the R key. The green target is in your party. You can also acquire skill point skill points. Well, wow, they really need to fix the grammar on this game. By leveling up. Now press the ALT key as indicated in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and learn two skills. The hell am I gonna press the ALT key and learn one normal skill and one ultimate skill. I don't get it. What am I supposed to do? Press the all key to learn one normal. Press the all key to learn one normal skill and one ultimate skill. Okay, where am, where am I supposed to go for that? No. Oh, here we go. Stupid me. I was wondering, like, what the fuck? Alright, great, you're mastered a skill. Skill keys. You can use skills you master by pressing the respective number keys. You can also configure shortcuts to the all key. You have mastered some skill, now let's practice. This is a place called a strategic point. Strategic points are locations which can be occupied. Strategic points have functions such as providing gold or fire cannons at enemy structures. Okay, wonderful. The more strategic points you can occupy, the better your chances of winning. Let's move to the mineral points now. Defeat the NPCs. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's do a little boost of running here. You will swim in your own blood. Oh, 
Once user points being captured, the occupation gauge pops up. When the occupation gauge has shifted completely to your side, you have occupied the strategic points. All NPCs will defend any occupied area. We have now learned about strategic points. Mission cure, let's move on. Well, that super attack was slowing down the com freaking uh, game. <laughs> Bumming, you're probably after editing, it's not going to be that slow. So Now it's time to learn about the store. Okay, you can buy items and exhaustive items. Let's learn about exhaustive items first. You can check the list of items by pressing the F key. Near the store, look around and buy a healing potion. Do do do. Where's the store? Is the store? That's it. Well done. The items you have bought will appear in your item slots. Press the F1 key. F1. See how your hero gradually recovers eight hit points. Exhaustive item disappears from the item list, uh, <clears throat> item slots as as uh, wow as soon as you use them. Okay, wonderful. Now let's learn about basic items. Their functions are activated when you buy item. When you oh, I can't even. These glasses are shitty. When you buy them, and they can be combined to make stronger items. Please remember that these items disappear when the game session ends. Okay, let's create an item. Buy the item Stone Soul, Essence of Soul, and Guardian Basin and Iron Necklace. Stone Soul. Current bracelet. That's weird. Great, you did it! You can use some artifacts for the additional function. The blue gauge shows the current mana points value. When your mana points are decreased as you use skills. If you do not have enough mana points, you cannot use skills. Use the shield of soul by pressing the F1 key. You notice your hero recovers mana immediately. F F1 <gasps> You did it. Well done. Yay. Wonderful. Okay, now it's loading. Great. Uh, I guess I finished. I accomplished the mission. Oh my god, what the hell was that? You just had a hernia attack. Ooh. Mystery has invited you to a session. Okay. Mystery Joker. Huh. I'm ready. Oh, what a douche. I'm by myself? What the? Bunch of dicks. He's like, oh, level ones? No, thank you. 